Hello Warfighters, War is Hell. Welcome to the next episode of our Arma 3 zombie mission series as we're celebrating Halloween. By the way, this should be posted on Halloween, so happy Halloween everybody. Now, if you didn't get a chance to watch the previous episode, since this is part two of three, I recommend going back and watching it. Essentially, I'm going to be playing as a fictional Special Forces unit that has been set up particularly to counter zombie threats. So we took a lot of casualties in the previous episode due to a number of zombie attacks, but we've been able to link up with a few more members of our team and we're about ready to head out once again. The officer in charge of the unit is going to be giving us a briefing, and I'll show that to you guys in a little bit since we're doing this in the same type of style as alternate history. Now this New York City map, which can be found on the Steam Workshop, is based on the real layout of New York City. So for this briefing, I get to show you where real spots are and play there too. Now our main base is on Liberty Island. We've got the Statue of Liberty right here too. What's uh, What we're going to be doing for the first part of this mission is we're going to be reinforcing an element that got separated from its uh, main force. And they're holed up here in Castle Clinton. So what we're also going to try to do is if we can rescue these guys, we're going to try and link them back up with uh, the main group, which is in the financial district. Now, because they've seen a swarm of zombies in the area, they've got machine guns up inside the castle itself on the ground. You see a couple uh, M2s, Humvee. There's a few other assets there, too, that should do a pretty good job at holding back any zombie attack, but it should be coming at any moment that's why we've got to rush and get there as quickly as possible don't know how many zombies that we're going to face the financial district has been overrun so we do know that there are a lot of zombies in the area but how many of them are going to be attacking us we'll have to wait and see if we can hold them off remember we've got to get to the main element they're hold up at a checkpoint inside the financial district and so we'll move to them and if everything has been cleared between uh the group that we're reinforcing and the main element then we should really be good with the mission. Uh, the group that's been separated will just link up with them. All right, so we have made it across and we are at Castle Clinton now. So I've got it set up that just like in the last mission, we're gonna fast rope. This time we're gonna be a little bit higher, um, but I can see, and I know it might be hard for you guys to see it, but the spotlight does show me some of the, looks like two MGs that are up on the towers to the castle see out front is where they've set up some defensive positions now this has been used uh, earlier in the initial zombie attack so it's not like these guys just set it up this position had been abandoned earlier and that's one of the reasons why I chose to fall there okay I'm one of the first guys to the ground now I'm worried that the sound of the helo is going to spawn or it's going to aggro the zombies okay so since I'm now here with the officer Nothing seems to be going on, so I'm gonna have the helo go back to base. It is out of ammo anyway from the last episode too, so it wouldn't be able to do too much uh, in this situation here too. Okay, so we've got a number of sandbags set up. We're gonna get everybody. Oh, they're starting to come. We're gonna get everybody in a line here. And once I open up, they are gonna start firing. Too. There we go. Looks like we've got a lot of zombies off in the distance. This way, but there is a lot of them. Hopefully, the 50 cal will be able to go through them like nothing else. I'm going to try and hit the head, but I'm wondering if you've got a larger caliber. Just the sheer damage from, from that is going to be enough to take the zombies down. Right, reload here. Yeah, we've thinned them out quite a bit. I really don't think that they're going to make it too far in this direction. And they're running in. More guys coming on the right side too behind the trees. That's really going to be firing in the blind here. I can't see where their heads are, so I can't aim accurately, but the damage might be taking these guys down. These guys have gotten a lot closer, especially the, the ones or the zombies that are kind of uh, There's a few types that we're going up against. We've seen the runners obviously we've got the walkers that are back here. Those guys you gotta be worried about them flooding you. I think you're gonna be good that one. Clear now. Except one of these zombies is not directly what's happening over there. For the right side that I'm worried about, that stone wall that's the soldiers on the left side from engaging the zombies as soon as they come down the hill. 
Okay. He's still firing. Let's see what he's shooting at. Oh yeah, we got some guys that are just lurking here on this hill. This isn't going to be too good for me. I'm going to go through a lot of ammunition now. I have been able to do this since the last time. some zombies, pull them out in the open so that way everybody can start engaging them if there is uh, any more of them. They're kind of in and around here. I mean, if it's just like one or two, let's say, of the walkers, should be able to take them out pretty quickly. Oh, crap. Not good with these runners. Oh, I've been shot by one of my guys, too. Okay, I'm on three-round burst. Oh, nice. Ooh, I took down two guys with that. That was pretty cool. A hit fire, taking one guy down, and getting two guys back three round burst too. Okay. Try and be a little bit more careful this time. Another person up on the hill. Nope, not gonna go fire that at him. Oh, time to fall back. Yep, I'm sprinting back here. I'm not even going to try and engage these guys. Come on, guys, get them. Okay, they stopped shooting. That might actually not be too bad of a strategy. Just run up here, aggro some of them, and then fall back. There we go. I don't know if I got him or the 50 cal did, but... All right, things are quiet. Let's see if we get everybody back together. Oh, we lost one guy. I bet you that's friendly fire. All right, we got to keep trucking along here, though. Dang, there was a lot of zombies that were lurking around here. That should mean, though, as we head into the edges of the financial district, there shouldn't be too many zombies around here. At least, that's what I'm anticipating. Put my head over. Yeah, I'm not seeing anybody around here at all. Okay, that works. Okay, everybody's going to be coming up to the hill. And then we're going to start moving in uh, to the financial district. Remember, we're going to try and hit that checkpoint. Uh, I am the only one who has been wounded. So I'll have a medic come to me and patch me up. Here we go. Thanks, bro. Okay, we're good to move. So everything is still well lit. I do have a couple flares in case I need to illuminate a, a darkened area. I might do that. I mean, even with the lights off, I mean, I feel like there's still enough light from the moon to be able to see. So we'll see if I, I use them. I've got them equipped, though. All right, missing a couple guys on the right side. Again... I have to be careful with the formation that I go with. I don't want to be shot in the back again. Okay, we're going to take a left. Man, it'd be so cool if some of these towers were enterable, but... I know armor doesn't support it. Okay, there's the checkpoint. It's pretty dark up there, so... Oh! They're under attack right now. Okay, got the... Flare out. Focusing on trying to take these guys down. I got him. Maybe I'll, I won't stick with the three round burst. Some of these guys like, like him taking up a lot of rounds. Okay, now he's close enough to where I should probably go. Three round burst there. Oh, dang it. They've been overrun. They're, they're in danger of it. Okay, I think they've gotten those zombies, but they're still firing and move there. We gotta be smart. I don't wanna just run out there in the open because if they're engaging zombies, I don't know if there's gonna be some that are in the alley around us. Or in some of the alleys that are around us. Uh, should be able to take out those guys. I was thinking about firing a grenade in there, but not with those guys. Oh no. All those runners. All those guys in front are gonna be taken down. 
there's no way I'm gonna be taking these guys out unless I go with the grenades. The guys out front are already dead. So we get some good shots with this. We go clear out. Oh, I hit the barrier there. Alright, I'll just do this old fashioned way. There's definitely not where I feel comfortable pushing in. Okay, let's see what we got. I still hear some firing coming from the direction of that checkpoint. Yeah, sounds like a 249. Oh, dang it. See, that's what I was worried about. Uh-oh. More guys coming. And here I am trying to patch myself up. This is a bad time to do it. Okay. We dropped that group pretty quick. One shot. Got him. Okay, now things are quiet from the checkpoint. But before I move up, learn the lesson from last time. Got to make sure I've got a 40 millimeter grenade in there. Okay, I'm not seeing anything down that road. Wow. Oh, one guy got up there. Oh, and zombies couldn't get him. Smart man. Fortunately, nobody else did. Okay, there's my guys. Is there anybody else? I mean, I don't see anybody else besides these bodies here. Yeah, that guy must have been the only survivor. Dang. Alright, throw a flare down here. Just make it easier to spot or see what's going on. I might want to check this place too in case there is anybody else wounded or anything like that. Oh, we got somebody in the this tent here. Okay, so we're going to talk to this NCO here and try to get some information about what's going to happen next. Now, he did say that the element that we did help out just a little bit ago at Castle Clinton does need to come back to this checkpoint right away to help defend this area, especially with the amount of losses that they took. There's only two of them left. Uh, so the mission that they were going to be tasked with is now going to be passed on to us. And this is of vital importance. So let's go ahead and get to the briefing so you can see where we're headed uh, in relation to the real life counterpart. Okay, so Castle Clinton, remember that's where we started. We've pushed up here to this uh, checkpoint in the financial district. Now over here by the ferry terminal, we've gotten word that there's a scientist that has been holed up there that is an expert in the type of virology that this zombie virus is based off of. So he may be able to help develop a cure. We're gonna try and find him and get him out of here as quickly as possible. This is what he looks like. Now, because he is so valuable that once we do rescue him, we're gonna try and extract him as fast as we can. Now, the helicopter we were using uh, has to refuel, so it will not be available for the extraction. We've gotta find somewhere else to be able to take him. There's a, a one place I think I have in mind that I'll, I'll try and go to. Now, the area that he is at is heavily defended by, by zombies. And I know with everything that we've seen so far, heavily defended uh, sounds like the norm, but there are a ton of zombies here. So we're on the move outside of the checkpoint, heading down this road. Remember, we didn't see anybody here earlier, but my guys are already starting to engage something. Yeah, zombies coming from the right side. There's a lot of them that are grouped up right here. Should be able to get a few of them. Oh, sweet. There's only just a few of them left. Stay around. Fuel uh, truck. Cool. Oh, we got guys on the left side. I'm going to have to get them with the grenades. Oh, dang it, it went through them. Like in between some of them. Time to back up. Try this again. There we go. That's better. How close up are these guys? Okay, I'm not going to risk another grenade. Hey, that wasn't too bad, honestly. Now, one of the things is... Okay, we'll, we'll get him healed up. 
Uh, one of the things that I forgot to mention is back at that checkpoint, I was able to get rearmed and resupplied. So I've got everything that I need. I've got more grenades, uh, more mags, everything like that. So I'm I'm ready to go. Okay, we might see some surprises around some corners here, but yeah, again, probably a lot of that dropped with uh, that attack. Oh, dang, these guys are fast. Oh, nice. I'm getting better at this, guys. At least that's what I'm feeling like. All right, we'll push up. Now, remember from the uh, that little briefing there, we really don't have to travel that far at all. Very close to where we started off, too. It's actually right up here. Okay, we've got zombies in that building, and then the terminal off to the right, more on the outside. Now, it'll be interesting to see if these guys come out of the building. I'm going to anticipate that they are. Knowing how this has gone previously, let's not get in front of them. I'm wondering where everybody else is. Yeah, we're going to go behind uh, these buildings. I want to try and get in there. For most of it. can't get in there. So in an elevated position might help. Yeah, I'm going to have to go in between the buildings around here. Oh yeah, there's a lot of zombies in the building too. Um, I'm going to shoot out that window. Sometimes when you shoot a grenade like this, the damage counts in the window. Got it in there right where I want it. There's more off to the right side. There's a few guys that are in there. Okay, these guys are walkers. Perfect. I'm wondering if there's a strategy to how the zombies work if they're on the attack. They send the faster ones at you, but if they're defending an area, they send the slow ones. Okay, so as I fire over there, I'm going to aggro some more guys. really going to be kind of coming around here this way. I'm going to have to keep an eye on, on the right side, even though I try to clear uh, the building a little bit off to my left. Now, with everybody a little bit farther off to my left, I think this is actually the ideal position for me to be in. Probably was good I didn't get up onto uh, a higher story, because once the zombies getting closer. They're going to come to me. My guy should be able to to drop them as opposed to being rushed themselves. Man, these guys have to be in that building. I feel like there was a lot more that were up here in this area before we got into this prolonged fight. I don't know if they are moving through the building. You know what, I was just thinking it's probably not good I'm dropping as many grenades in there as I am. Even though I think he's in the building in front of me, I could be wrong. Ah, oh, dang it, gotta reload. Alright, we're thinning him out just a little bit at a time. If any of the zombies were close to that, that doctor, they're getting drawn over to us now, so maybe just this fire alone is, is protecting him. Alright, let's try to see if we can find a different position to get to. Maybe get closer to the terminal. Can't fit in between them. Alright, we're going to have to go out front. What I wanted to avoid was trying to stick by this road. Because I feel like if there's anybody coming from the blue building off left. I'm going to have to keep looking over basically to my 9 o'clock. Right, 
horror coming. To some degree, I'm wanting to get closer to these guys just to be more likely to hit them and drop them. Because with these guys moving at this speed, I can run, fall back, and be just fine. You had oh. oh, it's a good thing I noticed that guy out of the corner of my eye. I did not think about that. The thing was is I didn't want to turn the corner on the right side and go into the street perpendicular to where we're at. Uh, just because I don't know if there are any zombies that might be around that corner. Man, I was out of everything right there. Gosh, this group's been able to get on us closer than anybody else. Okay. I don't think they're much of a threat anymore. I've been able to push them back. Yeah, just looking out there, there's like, what, five guys left? No, there'll be more than that. Now I feel more comfortable with pushing up. Seems like most of the zombies that came out of the building on the left have been eliminated. I saw a few guys who were the yep, far right, bottom story. Drop one in there. I think that also was a little short, but got the job done. Yeah, I'm not going to waste a grenade on one guy. be able to start counting. Oh dang, hi. I thought I saw a zombie on the roof of the terminal back there too. That's something I'm going to have to be conscious of as I move in there. Let's actually throw some, some frags this time. Curious to see if they would do more damage over a larger area. Hard to tell. Okay, now I'm spotting six. Seven. Gosh, I cannot hit this guy. There we go. Other side of the pillar. We'll go three round burst for the rest of these guys. Now, one unless they get really close. Yeah, we've got guys that are coming out of the building now. That's why there's more coming. We'll frag out. Time to start pushing up more. Okay, right side is clear. So yeah, I could have come over here had the area covered but I think if I would have come out to this corner I would have gotten out too far and then I'd have zombies coming from uh, to my left as well and so I probably would have been able to catch them out of the corner of my eye like I did when I was back up against that building oh man I was hoping there would be more in that building because I do have to go check it out Explosive on him. Two left. Oh, good thing I checked behind me. Sneaky, sneaky.
move into the terminal, see what we can find out. Is there a guy there? Yeah. First level. Okay, let's move in and see what we can find. Reload. I should be set. Don't know many how or how many we'll find inside of here. Since I saw a lot of them come out, I would anticipate not many. Yep, I see one guy moving around in here. Since these guys are slow, it shouldn't be that hard, especially in this open area, to eliminate anybody inside. clear nope got a few more left that guy over here on the right side he might be going out nope he's gonna stay in the main area oh, I missed him there we go Two more coming in. I missed him. Dang it, I shot the pillar that time too. There we go. Okay, nobody around me. Not hearing or seeing anything on this first floor. Check this area, We're clear. Gosh, it's already been been cleaned out. Okay, let's go up to the second story. See what we can find up here. This will actually take us to the roof. Remember, we saw some zombies that were up here. Nobody out here. Oh, this door's open. Question is, did the zombies open the door or did the professor? Or sorry, the doctor. Gosh, nobody up here on the roof. Where is he? Oh, I see somebody up on top of the building. He's moved. Okay, so we've got eyes on him. So that means for the next episode, we're going to have to go into that building that I was hitting with the grenades. See if there are any other zombies that are in there. Try and pick this guy up and get him out of here as quickly as possible so you'll see how that all unfolds in the next episode so subscribe and hit the bell icon if you have not already so you can get notified when the last episode of this comes out also you'll find some important links in the description below that help support me you'll find the link to patreon and you'll also find the link to the war Health discord would love to have you be a part of the community there too again like the video comment tell me what you like too that's another great way to support me but until next time we've got a lot of zombies that are going to be waiting for us so thanks for watching. War is hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.